everyone, it's Kate here, and in today's video, we will be predicting the next top 10 potential princesses arriving in our valley in the future of Dreamlight Valley. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before starting off with our predictions, I just want to bring to light a furniture item in the game that can give us an inside clue as to who we can expect to arrive in our valley in the near future. The item in question is this princess divider that holds iconic items to each respective princess. Starting off in the left hand corner of the shelf, we have Cinderella's sewing basket next to Aurora's candle. Moving down, we see Ariel's candle holder along with Belle's mirror, Snow White's basket of apples and Moana's ore. Moving on to the right hand side of the shelf, from the top we see Princess Jasmine's flower in a vase resembling that of her outfit, a bear statue to represent Meredith, Tiana's palace restaurant photo, Pocahontas's willow tree, Rapunzel's art supplies, Mulan's cricket cage, and Rhea's hat. Whether this is a sign of future princesses being added or teased, it's safe to say that there's hope in seeing familiar royal faces in our valley soon and in the near future. Mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? In the number 10 spot, it's none other than the seven dwarf loving maiden herself, Snow White. I've made a previous prediction connection that might have revealed the possibility of Snow White and the evil queen as potential characters added to our valley. If we recall the secret quest when interacting with Scar after storing the pillar of nurturing, he remarks on a mirror shard that's found in our valley he wants for himself to use to spy on the villagers while reciting familiar lines the evil queen says when asking who's the fairest of them all. The same mirror shard is the same design as seen in the thumbnail art for the movie and as an item from a previous star path. As for Snow White, the only clue I can really go off on is Minnie mentioning gooseberry pie which is Snow White's recipe. Along the evil queen reference since we can't have one without the other. Given that she is the first princess of the whole franchise, I do hope to see both characters in our game. You don't want to be sleeping on this beauty arriving in our valley as number 9. It's none other than Aurora herself. It's no surprise that with the high demand for Maleficent, it also goes to show that we can't count this princess out since she has her own cake recipe in the game and an iconic villain to her story that could make way for her to be introduced introduced into our game. Although there are more signs of Maleficent with her throne, the Forgotten Lands, Night Thorns, and Green Flames, it's not impossible for Aurora to join along with her. Since we're on the topic of fairies, wouldn't it be cool to also have her three fairy godmothers, Floral, Fauna, and Meriwether too? It wouldn't be out of the ordinary since we already have fairy godmother in game. The more fairies, the merrier. But if you want an opinion on what color dress to wear to a ball, I will leave that question to yourself or else you'll have a color changing dress debate on your way there. This princess is shooting for her own spot on this list as number 8. There's not too many clues in the game pointing to Merida as a prioritized character to be added anytime soon, but her demand from the community and her iconic presence in the franchise can't go unseen. She was added as one of the classic Disney princess cameos in the second Wreck-It Ralph movie. We can't overlook the bear statue in the princess divider and the bear chair we see in our our game, or if you're in the middle of your fairy godmother quest, you'll see this item randomly pop up in your valley. Is this a reference to Merida or something completely different? We do have a forest biome already, so she would be right at home in our valley. I know it's unlikely, but seeing bear cubs roaming the forest grounds would be so adorable and to befriend for a companion. Honestly, this story of mother and daughter is such a dynamic change to the stories we've been told in past. I believe a strong ground and brave princess like Merida would be an excellent addition to our game. Venturing her way into number 7 spot on the list, but it won't be the last of her, is Rhea. Rhea is very similar to another warrior-like character we all know and love, Mulan. The tale of Rhea is on a mission to find the last dragon with legendary powers foretold long ago to reverse the curse that's befallen on her people. Other than this clue of her iconic hat she wears in the 
movie, this is the only sign of her as a potential character to be added into Dreamlight Valley. I wonder, if Rhea is another character addition to the list we want in our valley, could that open a door to mythical creatures like Sizu to be added as well as a companion to accompany Rhea? But with every hero, there is an adversary, so it wouldn't be a surprise to have Namari butting heads with Rhea in the valley. Since Sizu is connected to the rain, maybe she could control the weather in our valley if we ask her to stop the rain or provide it. It's highly unlikely Dream My Valley will put the weather controls in the hands of, I mean, claws of a dragon character in our game, but you have to admit the idea is pretty cool and it would be so different from normal game mechanics while staying true to the character's story and nature. Let's get down to business with this next warrior on the list as number 6. It's the hero of China herself, Mulan. I have very high hopes for Mulan joining our valley since in Disney's Beefstorm both her and Shang are playable racers since the launch of the game earlier this year. Besides this cricket cage as seen in the beginning of the movie when Mulan is on her way to see the matchmaker, there aren't any other signs or clues of her joining the valley, at least not in this point in time of Dreamlight Valley. Just like Rhea, would we get Mushu and Cricky as character additions in our valley or as companions much like Pua with Moana? I wonder how they would introduce Mulan into our valley and the story line of the game. It's safe to say that we could see a character crossover between the two worlds of Disney Speedstorm and Dreamland Valley, hopefully seeing a more iconic and beloved heroes making their mark in our valley. Painting with all the colors of this number 5 spot on the list is Pocahontas. Now an interesting discovery that was recently added in our game was found in our furniture category. When searching for decorations, we see this new symbol categorized under Pocahontas. This was an unexpected discovery but most likely an intentional addition. If we are to expect future furniture items or decor representing the story of this tale of Pocahontas. We already have raccoons and hummingbirds in our valley found in the Forest of Valor and the Sunla Plateau. If you recall the two pet companions Miko and Flit, these very critters were the loyal and yet mischievous companions that accompanied Pocahontas on her wild and daring adventures. This giant willow tree amidst the Prince's Divider collection to represent Grandmother Willow Pocahontas seeks guidance from in the movie has to lead to her being added into our game in the future at some point in time. We definitely have more than enough river bends around our valley for her Miko and Flipped to travel on once she lands in our valley. Who knows, she might teach us how to see the world we live in in a more enriching perspective than ever before. Cooking up the best gumbo with this number 4 spot on the list is the best Bayou chef around, none other than Tiana herself. There's been plenty of reference to Tiana as another highly anticipated princess to grace our valley with her famous beignet recipe. We can unlock cooking, her picture of her restaurant found in the shelf of the princess divider, the category in her inventory, and with the hype of the new Princess and the Frog series set to release sometime in the next upcoming year. This would be an optimal opportunity for the hard-working dreamer herself to be rightfully added. I gotta say, having another well-known chef in the valley alongside with Remy would be fun friendly competition of restaurants and I wonder if Tiana could unlock even more recipes for us to experiment cooking with. It would be incredible to see her restaurant next to Remy's since both would complement each other nicely and share the same high-class cuisine aesthetic especially for all our Dream of Valley decorators out there. Also, Will we get new critters or amphibious creatures like frogs in our valley? If so, hopefully we won't have to go around kissing all of them to see if one of them will turn into a prince or turn us into a frog because of a voodoo shadow man curse. Don't get your hair tangled with this princess as number 3 on the list, it's Rapunzel. From the countless decorations from furniture decor and the elusive painting table, outfits, the bundle of art supplies and the princess divider, and the tangled tower, teas and various pictures and trailers, it is safe to assume that this princess will be highly anticipated to be swinging into our valley very soon. We already got Mother Gothel in our game and now with the potentially leaked information and images of Flynn now seen and 
something that I also covered in my previous lead characters video. We won't be just getting Rapunzel herself, but also the dashing, smoldering thief himself too. I wonder if we'll have to look into newly added caves or secret passageways in our valley looking for when Rapunzel and Flynn arrive, just like how Flynn stumbled across the tower accidentally in the movie. We all are pretty excited for this couple to arrive soon and can't wait to see this tangled character set complete in our valley. Slipping her way into number 2 spot is the glass slipper wearing princess herself, Cinderella. Aside from the decorations we also get for furniture themed around Cinderella, outfits and a sewing kit in the princess divider, and character files of even having Prince Charming added as well in time, we can confidently say she'll arrive not long after given the fact we have Fairy Godmother in our game that shortly concluded Act 1 of Dream My Valley. We can't overlook the clear fact of seeing Cinderella in game from the first trailer of Disney Dream My Valley. It's a brief shot but we can get a clear idea of how she is expected to look and appear in our game. I would really hate for a repeat of a botched princess when our expectations are set high. I don't think the community can bear another bell incident. <laughs> Oh my god! What is that? Jokes aside, as we know of right now, she is the only other princess not in the game we have seen develop. Unlike the previous princesses I mentioned, where right now are merely speculated of their arrival in our valley. Whenever this beloved princess is added, it is safe to say that she'll be added just in the nick of time. Now a quick pause, if you made this far into the video before I reveal the last princess as our number one prediction on the list, a huge thank you for tuning in to the video and I hope you You've been enjoying the content so far. If you have not already, as a friendly fox reminder, be sure to click that like button and become a kid yourself. Just sub to the best club on the internet and turn on your notification bell so you'll never miss out on more leaks, predictions, and theory videos I post about Disney Dream Valley in the future. I appreciate your help and support in reaching out to others with one magical new friend at a time. Now, Back to the video. A whole new world awaits this princess of Agrabah, it's Jasmine from Aladdin. Now spoiler alert, if you have not finished Act 1 of Dream My Valley, you may want to skip over this part, but if you're already in the loop of what's taking place, then keep watching. In the last scene of Act 1, we are given a mysterious drawing hinting at potentially new biomes while an ominous shadow figure of Jafar looms over it coming into the frame of the end screen. We all have been anxiously awaiting Aladdin, Jasmine, Genie, and Jafar. Ever since the last update teased in the newly updated 2023 content roadmap, which is the very last major game-changing update we can expect for Dreamlight Valley of this year, and the storyline progression continuing on in Act 2. I've addressed more about potential biomes before and one of them being Agrabah or a desert biome, so feel free to check out that video after this. Honestly, seeing a whole new biome to explore would be an incredible change of pace to the valley and who knows what new critters and materials for craftable items we could unlock with this new frontier to explore and decorate. Not long ago these characters were recently added in Disney Speedstorms as raceable characters. I'm very excited for this magical storyline to continue with these iconic heroes and villains of the stories we loved most growing up with. There's still so much to hope for, predict, theorize on, and expect from Dreamlight Valley over the next upcoming updates and many more fun and magical times to create and share with everyone in this wonderful community. From all the princesses on this list, who are you most excited about arriving next in our valley and do you agree with the ones mentioned today? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. If you want more exclusive posts or first looks at pictures I share of my Dreamlight Valley experience, then be sure to follow my Instagram which can be found linked in the description box and the pinned message of this video. Thank you again for supporting the channel and your patience when creating these videos. If you want to enjoy any and everything Disney and Dreamlight Valley content to expect on this channel, feel free to check out these videos we discuss on the channel and become a kid to the best club on the internet. I also cover updates and news on this game as well, so make sure you click that like button so you'll never miss out on another magical video I upload for you kids to enjoy to your heart's content. Remember my kids, you have the magic a friendship with you. So no matter wherever and whomever you encounter, you have the magic to go spread it and share it on my behalf and on behalf of the Kit Army. Without further ado, I'll game till next time. Bye!